I like what I hear. And playing as well, of course. And, and this is a, a, a really strong piece and has some Iberic reference. And the composer is Mari Pacheco and the music's Alain Terra. Thank you and thank you for staying with us until now.
Uh, if you are just log, if you just logged in our concert, my name is Fernando Maciel. I'm playing the Portuguese guitar, and I'm accompanied by Carlos Fonseca Hello. on the classical <laughs> guitar or viola de fado. Uh, we are playing instrumental music from Portugal. I'm just seeing if you, we have any more comments. You are free to ask any questions as you like. Para os que falam português, estão todos à vontade a fazer perguntas ou comentários. É como queiram, estamos aqui para a respondê-los. Ah. The first question is, what is the difference between fado and coimbra? Uh, I think he has asked between fado from Coimbra and fado from Lisbon. Uh, coimbra I don't know if it's this, but if you didn't ask that, Coimbra is a city and Fado is a musical genre. Uh, the Fado from Coimbra and the Fado from Lisbon are really different. You can, you can listen to Fado Coimbra and you remember something, the way the, the Fadistas, the singers uh, sing, you remember the opera in, in a way that he, they play. Uh, the musics are completely different. Uh, the structure also yeah. of the, the music is completely different. Um, is a tradition in Fado de Coimbra that almost all the singers are male. Uh, they don't have male singers. Nowadays, we, we have some female singers from Coimbra, but, but in the tradition, it doesn't have. Uh, you have also a Portuguese guitar and a viola de fado company. Fado de Coimbra are It's very related to the University of Coimbra. Yes, and that is related to, univers to the University of Coimbra, that is a famous university, one of the oldest, right? 700 years. 700 years. And the fado from Coimbra uh, was, I think, kind of made by the students. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And in Lisbon, it was the working class that sang the fado from Lisbon, and they were they 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 are sometimes sang in the casas de fado, or houses of fado. There are restaurants that have fado live uh, during your meal, or or anyway, during your meal, you you have fado live, and you, it was the working classes, so. It also has differences in what they speak about. In Fado of Lisbon, we have many songs that say about uh, their lives, their lives and the lives of the working class. Uh, I don't know. And the Fado from Coimbra, they talk about the university, their, their loves that, that stay as long as the university stays and the city of Coimbra, father from Lisbon, always, always, no, not always, but almost many of them speak about the city of Lisbon, as this father from Coimbra speaks about Coimbra. And uh, it's different, uh, it has the guitar players, that they play father of Coimbra and father of Lisbon, it's, it's different. Uh, not yes. only the guitar, but uh, the way how they play each one. Yeah, the way that he f they feel the Portuguese guitar from the tradition of Coimbra, they feel different from the tradition of Lisbon. Uh, uh, it's more of the tradition of Lisbon is kind of delicate, and you have how can I say that? It's a little bit more soft, and the technique is different. We have uh, I'm not. I don't know if I'm going to say but we have. <laughs> This, the, we call the trinados a lot more than the tradition of Coimbra has. And the tradition of Coimbra is, is more strong, is more... Powerful. Powerful, yeah, yeah. than the tradition of Lisbon. Uh, and the, the, the classical guitar in Coimbra, it's more soft. In Lisbon, uh, the responsibility of uh, the classical guitar, it's to, it's to make the, the rhythm, okay? for the Portuguese guitar. Uh, in Coimbra, the guitar, the Portuguese guitar itself, they she command the, the rhythm. It's different because in Lisbon, you, you know, uh, it's, it's a solo, it's a solo instrument. 
in in Coimbra, it's not so so easy to to catch the the function of uh, of the guitar of Coimbra. It has a solo moments, but uh, the Portuguese guitar, the, the the player, the Portuguese guitar players in Coimbra, they make the rhythm, they command the the, the rhythm. Uh, they they do something like that. I, I'm not not a Portuguese guitar player from Coimbra, so I'm sorry. <laughs> But they do something. Like that. They have this movement in accompanying Fado and in in the Portuguese guitar of Lisbon. We can do this, but we don't do as the way they do. In Lisbon, uh, the the Portuguese guitars sing with the fadista. Yeah. Okay. Like uh, you know, uh, respond to 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 the Fadista the moment, the moments of uh, when they breathe. And the Portuguese guitar make a, a moment, a little moment, but a beautiful moment. Uh, and in in Queen, it's different. It's a different way to 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 play, but yeah. beautiful also, of course. <laughs> yeah, of course. I hope we've answered the question. Tell us a bit about. Just a moment. For a moment, I'm sorry. The the Portuguese guitar. Could you explain the rhythm of Portuguese music? I think it's better to talk about what kind of music it is. Uh, could you explain the rhythm of Portuguese music? É quatro por quatro, não é? No caso do fado. Sim, quatro por quatro, dois por quatro, quatro por quatro. Portuguese music is really. Uh, sobretudo in, não, sobretudo no fado. É, no, é isso que eu vou dizer porque é muito tem por, muitos. Porque o vir o vir já é tradicional. É não e tem muitos o folclore sim. é muito variado nos ritmos. Sim, sim. sim. Uh, we can speak about fado because. Uh, Portuguese folklore is really rich and has many different uh, times, but in in fado it's almost a, always four, four, four or two, four. two or four, and yeah, that is that is it. It is not that. See, no fado, no matter. No, there is no tradition of um, trinary uh, three. See, yes, no. of three rhythms. No, it's only. Four four or two four in fado and uh, there's and not many it, variations. And that's it. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> I know that uh, I know nothing about Indian music, but I know you have many complex rhythms yes. that we all we With always say yeah. you're clapping and singing, and we we go, "Wow, my God, what is that?" We can. I don't know it. I don't know nothing about that. But in, in Fado, it's really just four, four, and two, four. The beauty of Fado is not in in the rhythm. I think it's an improvisation. Yeah. Uh, awesome. Welcome. Ah, into the other tones. Uh, um, uh, I I don't know Arni Narendran. I think he's. Uh, I don't get the the question. He's saying like hello. I am from Arni. I am Arni from Mumbai. My friend in London made the research of Fado music in Goa, which was a former Portuguese colony. See, thank you, boy. I heard that Cape Fur. Cabo Verde, Cabo Verde is the most original fado. Is it true even today? Thank you both for talking to us. I have heard fado during my trip to Rio in 2014. Uh, fado is the traditional urban music from Lisbon. Uh, and uh, Morna, there is a, there is a kind of music in in Cabo Verde called Morna, okay. It's very related to fado, but it's not fado. They use cavaquinho and piano and uh, classical guitars, but fado has uh, is is older than 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 morna. 
is older, okay? Uh, he, he said that he listened to, to Fado in Rio, Rio de Janeiro, in 2014. I, I don't know if you really listened to Fado, but I'm, I'm originated from here, I was born in Rio. And we don't have the tradition of Fado anymore, we had in the beginning of the 20th century. But we don't have any more. Maybe, I don't know, but maybe you heard some samba that is really close to the Mona. I think when I listen to Mona, I, I, I listen to samba. It's or, very similar. Or a, or a show with a Portuguese artist there. Uh, maybe, I don't know if you heard a show with a Portuguese artist. I don't know, but Fado is the urban music from Lisbon. And, Fado and there are... And there are um, Immigrants of Portugal in in Rio and around the Brazil, they uh, but, Fado. But in Rio, we, we I think we don't have Fado more, anymore. More, more, more in São Paulo. Uh, it's in São Paulo and Santos. Yeah. There are two cities in Brazil, uh, and Fado is from Lisbon. We can say uh, we have some influences from from Cabo Verde or from the sailors or from Around Brazil. the empire, the Portuguese empire, they brought... Yes, you know, the, the Portuguese the empire. Port many influences in Lisbon and Lisbon was the capital of a empire, big empire around the, 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 the fifth, the, the five continents and... Uh, yeah, you, you can't say, oh, this never had any influence. Obviously, it has had some influence. But Fado is from Lisbon and from Portugal. Uh, the people asked me to say a little bit more about the Portuguese guitar. Let me see. Okay. The Portuguese guitar. Uh, I said some. I don't know if you were already here. But I, I said this is a, an instrument and the strings are from steel, a steel key, steel, uh, from metal, no? mm. they are steel strings. Steel strings and they are double strings and we play it with these two fingers, the thumb and the index, I think, and we do like that, like a pick. Yep. And this one is, you can also do that, but I only do this in this way. <laughs> So we play it, the two, the double strings united. Sometimes we separate, if we wish, if we wish to do something like that. But almost always we, we play it uh, as one. Uh, the tuning I already said it as B, A, E, B, A, D. And it's a very beautiful <laughs> instrument. And I think that's about it. I don't think we have this beautiful piece here that we call guarda unhas. That is where you, we rest our finger, our fingers. Some people use both of them here, and you play it like this, like a. I think, if I'm not mistaken, a figueta. As we call in the lute, the wood, we play it like this and not like the classical guitar that is like this, we play it like this and not like this. So, <laughs> thank you and thank you for your comments and your questions. You can continue to ask as much as you want. Uh, this piece that we are playing now is from a very, very famous composer and also Portuguese guitar player. He was very known for being a virtuoso. He was very virtuosistic. And he wrote many, many, many instrumental pieces for the guitar and many fados that we still sing. Uh, this music is very special for me because when I listen to this, I almost feel Fado. You can feel, you can, you can listen and you say, oh, this is Fado. And the, it's not a sad music, even though Fado is always related to, related, no. People always think that Fado is sad, but Fado is not always sad. And this song is not sad, but it has Fado in it. And my, my, 
Portuguese guitar master, my teacher. He has a video on YouTube playing this with his colleagues and friends, uh, Antonio Pereira, is his name, in the Portuguese guitar, Zé Luiz Nobre da Costa in this Portuguese guitar also, and Francisco Gonçalves and James Santos Jr. in the viola de fado, classical guitar, and in the bass, who is in the bass? I don't Perhaps Raul Silva or Tom Lisa, no, I, don't I, I don't remember, I don't remember, but one of these that they, they use it, play, use it yeah. to play together. So, uh, the name of the music is Corrida do Mestre Zé, e the composer is James Santos. Corrido, Corrido, it's, it's one of the first stones of, of Fado. Corrido, this is Fernanda, we will be, she will play the, uh, the Corrido, the major Corrido, in major, but there's a minor Corrido, and the, all the Fado has started from that, from minor Corrido and major Corrido. And they will need, you will listen next, Fernanda playing uh, uh, improvisations of a major corrido in G, uh, composed by Jaime Santos. <laughs>
thank you and thank you for staying with us let me see if you have any more questions uh chico chico would you please play this number uh chico chico i think you're saying chico chico no fubá is a brazilian music and is a choro is our brazilian urban music from rio de janeiro and i don't play chico chico no fubá even though i like it very much Mozart will play in Portuguese guitar? That's an excellent question. Uh, how a Mozart will play in Portugal? Portuguese guitar? I don't know. Uh, some people do play Mozart on the Portuguese guitar. Acho que o Manuel Marques tocava, não tocava. Eduardo Jorge. Eduardo Jorge também. Some, some people use it to play. Uh, this repertoire that we are doing today is... Talvez Pedro Caldeira Cabral também. Ah, também. Tá Pedro Caldeira Cabral, sim. E o Ricardo Rocha também, se calhar. Também. Também. Some Portuguese players, we are thinking maybe they play Mozart on the, on the Portuguese guitar. The Portuguese guitar is, is kind of tricky to play things that are not fado because of the tuning. You can... Uh, maybe you didn't realize yet, but this B and E is a difference from a tone. I don't know if I'm saying the right words. I think it's tone in English, right? So it's a difference from a tone, and here is the same, same thing. This is a B and this is a B. This is A, this is a A. So... B-A-B-A. Uh, B-A-B-A and uh, E and a D, I mean. It's kind of a crazy Tony, <laughs> and it's sometimes it's, uh, it's difficult to play some some music in the Portuguese guitar because of that. But we have some guitarists that do play classical music in the Portuguese guitar, and even the repertoire for the classical guitar we have uh, uh, Wallace, that is a Portuguese guitar player from Brazil. I think he plays. Some what? perhaps and perhaps Ricardo Araújo. Ricardo Araújo too, maybe he plays. The, the people of Manuel Marques. Yes, yes. Ricardo Araújo is a Portuguese guitar player from Brazil. That is the very good, very good. Yes, very good and is the profile of the this the second composer we talked about, the one that lived in Brazil, Manuel, Manuel Marques. Marques. Yeah. And I think Wallace plays Wallace Oliveira. He plays uh, some classical guitar repertoire in the Portuguese guitar. The Armenio de Melo too. Armenio de Melo too, yeah, yeah. Some Portuguese guitar players, they, they do that. I don't uh, yet. But the, the repertoire that we have today uh, is from the tradition of Father, mostly, except from the two first songs. And Paul Soares, I don't know, but I think... No, uh, Carlos Paredes. Only Carlos Paredes. Yeah, I think. All of the others are from the Lisbon repertoire, from Father. Okay. Or Mario Pacheco, maybe. Don't. But anyways, this, this repertoire is played, was played, during the Faro nights. Uh, in, when you go to a father house, as I said before, Casa de Fados, uh, you have Fado live and you also have some instrumental music that can be played in the beginning, in the middle of, in the end of the night. And these guitarradas, this instrumental music we call when is in Fado, we call this instrumental music in the Portuguese guitar, guitarradas, they were played during this, this night. So most of this repertoire is from is from that. Yep. It's true. <laughs> it's true, it's true. I'm not lying. <laughs> Ai, o mestre mandou mensagens. Está muito bem. Parabéns, Fernando, e parabéns, Carlos. Obrigada, mestre. Uh... Grazie mille a tutti i italiani. Uh... A Marta Rosa nos disse bela parelha. 
Beijinhos, malta. Uh, In the early 20th century, we had a, a very special composer and Portuguese guitar player that did many fados that we still sing nowadays and that did many Portuguese guitar instrumental pieces, guitarradas, as we call it. And uh, he was very special, he was a genius, because he could take the most perfect vibrato of his guitar and the way he played was so soft, so gentle. It was really, really beautiful. We have some recordings of him, not many, but we have a company father and playing as a soloist. Uh, his name was Armandinho. I think he is the major reference for... The Godfather. Uh, the Godfather. <laughs> the major reference for all Portuguese guitar players and for anyone who likes this instrument and likes father, I think. And uh, Armandinho was uh, a genius, and we are playing a little music from him called Siganita. I think this music was originally made to be instrumental, and Fernando Farinha wrote some lyrics um, is, yeah. in that, and it's always so sang, but it was made to be instrumental. So, Siganita, Armandinho. You can see. There, all the time I, I say a song with that, that is the key of the music. This is something in Fado. I think almost all of guitarists, is, uh, as a Portuguese guitar and viola de Fado and classical guitar, we always do that so we know what is the key we are playing. <laughs> Because usually the, the, in, a, in, in a Fado show, in a traditional Fado show, the musicians, they don't know Nothing, the Nothing repertoire. Works. They, they, they can expect what, what they are going to play because the Fadista, uh, they keep close to him and say the, the, the key, the name of the music and, and that's it. Yeah, and you have to play it. <laughs> It's something like if a singer came to you and said uh, uh, Autumn leaves in C. I don't know, and you have to play C sharp, that. C sharp, C sharp, C sharp, C sharp, <laughs> and you have to play it like that. But it's also, obviously it's not all leaves; it's the repertoire of Fado, like uh, Fado Bacalhau or Fado Valbert. Anyway, Siganita, that means little gypsy, from Armandinho.
uh, here in Fado we have also some quartets of instruments and we call them conjunto de guitarra. Oh, sorry, conjunto de guitarra. And it's usually two Portuguese guitars, one viola de fado and uh, a bass. And, and one of the most famous, I think it's the most famous conjunto de guitarras we had was conjunto de guitarras Raul Neri. And how one, of, one of them. One of them. Yeah. But Raul Neri, you want to say something? No, no, no. no. Raul <laughs> Neri was... Uh, a very important Portuguese guitar player from the 20th century and he used it to accompany Maria Teresa de Noronha and others fadistas, other fadistas and he, I think he didn't do many Portuguese guitar guitarras he didn't do many, I think I, I only know this one, I don't know if he did many <coughs> but uh, he used it to accompany and I, uh, I really admire the way he played and his sensibility, as we say. Uh, this music is from Raul Neri, Confidences de uma Guitarra, which means, uh, we, can, we can say confidences, or I think it's better, secrets of a guitar. <laughs> And thank you for staying with us until now. If you just logged in this live stream, my name is Fernanda Maciel. I'm playing the Portuguese guitar and I'm accompanied by Carlos Fonseca Hello. on the classical guitar or in viola de fado. With a mask. With a mask. <laughs>
we have some more comments. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So the three last songs we are playing. Three last colors from Sika. Olha para lá que eu não vejo nada. Eu não vi. Ah, já deu uma hora. Tá bem. So we are talking last now because we, are, we already have one hour of live stream. Uh, the last music is called uh, Last Music. No, the three last are from the same composer, José Nunes, and Portuguese guitar player. He was from Porto and he also played like Armandinho very delicately. So the first one is Vira de Frielas. Vira is a, a dance from North Portugal and Frielas is a place. Mm -hmm. Dona Filipa, Lady Filipa, and also a very delicate and very sensible, sensible is not the word, <laughs> it's, it's very, very beautiful music.
thank you very much for staying with us. Uh, I have some thank yous to read, and I'd like to begin with thanking the Cocteau Classical Guitar Society for the invitation and uh, the Camões Institute. Thank you very much. Also, the DACA International Guitar Festival that is also live streaming through their web page for the Facebook page. Um, Johannes Müller, who is also participating and I think helping and organizing the Cocteau the 11th Calcutta International Classical Guitar Festival. And also I'd like to thank some classical guitarists that are supporting this festival. Sunil and his parents, Sandaran and Vidya. I'm sorry if I mis mispronounced your names, I'm really sorry. Pankaj and Doshi, Ajay Ro, Vaibhav, Kabir, Ruptaka, Gotendas, Rukhiha, Anusha, Jrejit, Dakasheni, Ruf Narang, and Ritu Paban. Uh, I'd like to thank also the Lisbon Sound Society, that is the studio. <laughs> We are doing the live, all the technicians, Fred, and thank you, Vida and Hapurit for the invitation also, and I'd like to thank Carlos for accepting my invitation, having to It's put up with me thank you. <laughs> and rehearse with me. And thank all of you who are listening to us from the beginning or from the middle of just logged in. The important is to listen to us. Uh, for the Portuguese speakers, muito obrigada por todos por nos assistirem. E obrigada pelo apoio, como sempre. Não é? Quer falar alguma coisa? Não. And we are going to the last song, uh, Variations in B minor, Variações em C menor, de José Nunes. From José Nunes. <laughs>